Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 15, and this is war number 11. We've only got one war after this one. And we're going up against an alliance called Homicidal Maniacs Incorporated. And these guys look tough. They have a good defense, and we have our work cut out for us, let me tell you. So I scouted out my path, and you can see the team that I decided to go in here with. This is the team that I have been trying to get used to. I brought in Omega Red as a rank two six star, unawakened, and he has been putting in that work. All right, so first up, we've got, of course, a villain, Mr. Ultron, and of course they have defense tactics siphon. That seems to be the defense tactic to use these days. But against Gladiator Hulk on Starburst, not too worried about it. Now, this Ultron, I don't like fighting him because he likes to evade all kind of crazy times. I like the other Ultron far better. His evades are predictable. Now, when he has his regen up he tends to evade a lot more so that's why you see me just going in for like one hit two hit when he has his regen up and we got him down without too much difficulty i tell you hulk ragnarok king on this path so we've got another fight we got to deal with here and guess who it is will the real Gladiator Hulk, please stand up. So I looked at this and I was at first, I was like, oh no. But then I said, wait a minute. He's not going to get the face me active because he's on defense. So I'm like, okay, this shouldn't be too bad. And here we go. Now it would have been really bad if he got face me. That would have been a long fight and ugh. I wouldn't even want to deal with it. But as you can see, we're just ripping him up. I believe the real Gladiator Hulk has stood up and the fake one has laid down to go to sleep. All right, so section one, path one is done. No deaths so far. And as usual, I do not take this particular uh, mini here one of my other alliance mates that already brings in a champ for psychic thorns uh, takes it he takes that path uh, psychic thorns path anyway so he's already bringing in someone uh, so next time I check back it was cleared and we are ready to hit section two and section two is not generally a big deal for me depending on who they have up there. I hate seeing Iceman because I know I'm just going to lose health. But I usually fight with Starkey. Now, this guillotine 2099, she's not difficult to fight if you know how to fight her. And depending on the node that she's on. Now, this node, not too bad and I'm going to tell you what you need to do to fight her effectively. Now, one of the things that trips people up is that Deji cloak or Digi cloak. But if you fire a heavy attack off, it will put that on cooldown. So that's what you want to do. So I'm building up my poise charges here first. All right. And then you see that I tried to fire the heavy off, but I mistimed it boom got it and you see that it's on cooldown now now i can just go ahead and attack her without worrying about her suddenly going uh all you know cloaky on me i don't know how else to say that all right and i hate her special one i always get that power drain on me i don't even know if i can avoid it but as you can see she's not too difficult uh but you need to fire that heavy off Get that on cooldown so that you don't suddenly find yourself getting attacked. Because as soon as she activates it, 
she's going to attack right in the middle of your combo. Now, before this fight, we discussed who was going to take what. And I told them I would rather take that Venom rather than deal with that Domino. So uh, my alliance mate here went ahead and took out Domino. And it was now left to me. I was about to go to sleep. And there was no way I was going to try to fight that Venom while I was tired. So I told them it's just going to have to wait till I wake up. Fortunately, I don't sleep for too long. So we're back. And I went ahead and boosted up. I don't know if I needed to boost up or not. But what are boosts for? As you can see, I'm capped out on most of them. And every time they come around... I tried to purchase them, but I don't use them anywhere else. So if I don't use them here, I won't be using them anywhere. I don't use them for AQ. All right, so now we got to deal with Venom. And I was a little worried about Venom because he's a villain and the defense tactic siphon, plus he's aggressive. But instead of going in with Starkey, who I was originally going to use, I said, let me bring in my Omega Red. And Omega Red puts in that work. Uh, I run suicides, so he is actually very good. I have no regrets taking him to rank two unawakened. I know there was some questions about that, but as you can see, he's putting in that work. All right, so right now I'm trying to bait out that special one. I don't really want to deal with the special two. And we do have a power lock uh on our special one but we don't care you see omega red's health venom is already half down and i have 100 percent health all right and i don't want to get caught in that corner so i do want to push him back as much as possible all right you see here i'm hitting into his block that's to give myself a little bit more room so i don't get trapped in the corner and i have some time to bait but just in case he doesn't want to throw that special, I wanted to have that real estate. You see, I was already up against the uh, corner there, which is where I don't like to be. All right. And we still, he's been playing nicely. He's firing off his special one. All right. And you see, I'm trying to push him a little bit further back. All right. We got that last special one out of him and down he went. Uh, I actually took him out before I fired my special one. I meant to fire the special one off and take him out and get a little bit of the, you know, my health back, but I mistimed it. But still, an impressive, uh, impressive, an impressive showing for Omega Red. Now we're in the final section and it's a very close war. And you can see, I looked around and I'm like, okay, and there's no attack bonus left on this Doom. And I kind of felt bad about that because Starkey is an excellent counter to this Doom. Uh, you can see he's got more than half his life still, you know, still to go. Uh, Doom, that is. And so we are going to first build up our poise charges. And as long as we don't have that shock on us, we should be good because he tends to backslap you when you have a shock on you. Now, I don't have Blade with me, so I have to take a little bit more time to build up. I went ahead and fired that intercept off, even though I'm not maxed out because I was getting too close to the wall. All right. And I don't want to hit him when he has that green field up, but I do want to get myself you know, give myself a little bit more room. All right. So now we bait out that special one and we go in for the attack. All right. And we want to cycle those special ones if we can. Okay. There we go. And I'm pretty good at evading every once in a while. I will mess up. All right. And we want to push him to that special one. Okay. And here we go. I'm still trying to hit him like once, twice to get to that special one. There we go. Boom. And we just are still going in for the attack. Now, I could fire the special two off, but every time I fire my specials off on him, I get wrecked. 
So this time I did not do that. We baited it out and boom, he went down. I kind of wish I had gone in there. I'm pretty sure I could have gotten him down and still got an attack bonus left. But I lack confidence in my own fighting ability. So a lot of times I let uh, someone else who is more confident go in first. All right, I'll be back and we'll find out how we did in this war. All right, we are back. And as you can see, we have less than 30 seconds left to find out how we did in this war. We were able to get all three bosses down and it is a very close war. We don't know how this is gonna turn out. I think it's gonna boil down to diversity and maybe a kill or two all right war is ended let's find out oh and we lost let's see you can see how close this war was look at that let's take a look here look at that one attack bonus one attack bonus man so close wow that's what it came down to one single attack bonus all right well that's gonna do it guys i think we're still going to end in gold one as long as we get all of our bosses down in the next war I believe we are secured in goal one. So that's going to do it. Thank you all for watching. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a blessed day.